All right, you're listening to Radio Western 94.9. This is me, Preeta, and it is with great honor I would like to introduce our USC President-elect, Zamir Bakarani! You are way too nice to me. Hi, Preeta, how are you? <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm good. How are you? I'm excited to be here. Um, I mean, this is like totally, totally surreal for you right now, I guess. Oh my God. Yeah. It's been, um, a crazy kind of a couple months preparing for the campaign. And it was, it was really nice to, to be able to execute it and meet so many new students. And obviously I'm, I'm happy with the outcome. So uh, <laughs> we're soaking it all in. Uh, we're getting used to the new role and I'm just so excited to be speaking with you all at Radio Western for a third time. No problem. I mean, this is, I guess this is something which I guess everybody was really excited about. Everybody was uh, very moved by your campaign. They were really like engaged with all your initiatives. So I guess um, my first question would be, how do you think it with the results? How did you like get that feeling into your head? Yeah, so I... I don't know. I was I was nervous, not going to lie. Um, my campaign managers and I had a little Zoom call together where we watched the results live. And I think the Gazette actually captured uh, my reaction. Which was <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, it felt really good. It felt really good. Um, I, I owe it all to my entire team who made this possible. I have had so many dedicated, amazing student leaders who, who helped make the success possible. And I also have to say... Um, it, it was nice to see that the message resonated. I know that I was representing something that I think is not typical of USC presidential candidates in that I was very advocacy focused, but I think right. in light of the circumstances as we are building back from COVID, I think the student bodies also agreed with me that, that, that that's something that we need to be focusing on. So I am honestly honored at the opportunity. I'm so excited for the year ahead. Right. I guess this year has been all about like change and bringing about certain advocacy based policies, which um, are more like survivor based or which focus more on what the students exactly need. So um, once you once you start your term, what's the first thing you're going to do? Well, so I have already started actually the, the day after result tonight, we started transitioning, uh, which was a bit of a rush and I'm still catching up on school. Um, <laughs> but the first thing that I have been doing is uh, VP hiring and elections. Uh, we're in the process of hiring uh, the incoming vice president, um, communications and public affairs, the student support and programming VP and the governance and finance VP. Uh, so that's been um, what I've been up to. Right. Um, also, it's just announced by the by the Western Senate that uh, we are getting two additional student uh, self reported absences. So what's your comment on that? I have to say kudos to the amazing student senators who have been lobbying for that and fighting for that. I think it speaks to the fact that when students speak up and when we come together, people listen. I think that was a sentiment of not just my campaign, but also uh, Parker and Callista's. And I think mm. we're seeing that, that that is true, that that the administration does listen to us. And, and I have to say, thank you so much to the student senators. I'm so excited to take advantage of those SRAs as I catch up again. <laughs> right. So I guess for 2021, um, this time, more eyes are going to be on the much-awaited event that is the uh, that is orientation week. So, in your term, how do you think O week is going to look? Yeah. Um, well, the way I have been planning events this year at the Social Science Students Council, and the way I'm going to be doing it um, at the USC is hoping for the best, planning for the worst, having contingency plan after contingency plan. Um, I can say we have, you know, a lot of cool changes to orientation coming out soon. Um, orientation coordinator applications opened up today. So if any students mm -hmm. are watching or listening to the interview and do want to get involved, there are opportunities. So check out the Western USC website for those applications. Yes, <laughs> apply, 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 stay involved. Um, 
but my hope is to make sure that um, regardless of whether or not a week is in person, whether it's online, whether it's a mix of the of the two, that we're providing students with opportunities to form communities and to form bonds. Because um, I think that was one of the biggest concerns that that I had been hearing um, during my campaign. I I held a, a first year brainstorm where we listened to first year students' voices um, and, and heard what their concerns about a week and and the school year were. And the biggest thing we heard is that there there isn't that camaraderie um, that you know we've come to love and expect from a Western student experience. Um, so I think that's my number one priority for a week next year. Right. Um, what would you say is the biggest challenge you might encounter as a USC president? Um, you know what, I, I think it would have to be engagement. I don't think the USC does a great job at engaging students. And I think we have to do things differently. And then, and I think my campaign highlighted some of the ways I want to do that, whether it's through social circle or university or more frequent um, roundtables or grassroots right. mobilization techniques. I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that I'm really excited to, to execute and implement with my executive team. Um, but I also have to say, I think students are increasingly seeing the value of the USC and are increasingly um, wanting to engage and participate. Um, right. We were talking about it a little bit offhand before the interview started, but we saw some of the, the highest number of applications for VP positions this year um, at the USC. We also saw voter um, turnout. Yeah, actually. yeah, the, word, so, the so voter turnout of, was like, woof. Absolutely. And I think it, it was the, the second highest um, right. in, yeah. in the past decade. The only year that actually topped this year's election turnout was, I think, 2012, where there was a referendum on the health and dental plan. Um, and this mm -hmm. year, there was no referendum. Students just wanted their voices heard. Um, right. So I, I think engagement is one of the things that the USC has to work on. But I think that there is um, an increased appetite for USC programming and services, which will which will make engaging students a lot easier. Right. Yeah. Um, speaking of engagement and talking about opportunities for students, um, I guess this was, I think, raised uh, during the debate or uh, in one of your, in, I guess, in one of your cam uh, cam uh, campaigns as well. Um, a common trouble which is being experienced by international students nowadays is applying for work study positions as it's only available to domestic students or students who are a permanent resident. How do you plan on addressing this issue? Yeah, I, I think that's a really great uh, question. Um, I think there's a lot of things that can be done. Um, you know, like I talked a lot about um, in the campaign is that at the USC, we are a $30 million not-for-profit institution. We represent 30,000 students. Um, when we talk, people listen. Um, and so I think there's things we can ask of our governments, there's things we can ask of the university, and there's things we can do in-house um, at the USC as well. So like you mentioned, uh, providing those work integrated um, learning opportunities for international students are so, so important. And while we advocate for, for changes to um, policies to make sure that that can be the case, uh, there's a lot of stopgap solutions that are available. Um, something that I do want to plug really quickly is the USC just opened up um, applications for um, financial assistance for international students amongst other communities. So if students are, you know, in need and, and could use a little bit additional cash, um, I would definitely direct them to the USC social media or website, fill out that application. Um, but, but like you mentioned, um, I think we have to continue going hard on our advocacy initiatives. I think we have to continue to create opportunities in house. Um, I, I am really excited once I'm, you know, fully transitioned uh, to, to just hit the ground running with all that work. Right. And uh, you also mentioned that you've already started the hiring process for your VPs, your AVPs, your coordinators for uh, various portfolios. So I guess my question to you is, uh, what exactly are you looking for in your team? Yeah, um, so, so just really quickly um, as a comment, we have started hiring VPs coordinator, associate, and intern position applications are coming out really, really soon. So if students are interested, I keep plugging the USC's website, westernusc.ca, click on the opportunities tab. Uh, they are all paid opportunities. Um, so please, uh, you know, don't, don't let um, that, that be a hindrance. Um, please get involved, please apply. In terms of what I'm looking for, um, 
I would say for my portfolio, I am just looking for passion. I, I think at the end of the day, um, it's something that I've looked for every time I've been hiring at the Social Science Students Council and it's it's paid off. I think as long as you have a willingness to learn, um, you are going to go far in the role. I, I oftentimes walked into positions where I didn't always feel like I was, you know, I had the most, you know, direct experience to, to back up what I wanted to do, but I had an amazing team to transition me. I always had supports available. That's one thing I love about the UIC is we have an amazing transition program. We have an amazing HR staff. Um, and so whether or not you feel like you have all the qualifications you need, I would say apply because at the end of the day, the most important thing is a willingness to learn a willingness to make this community a better place. And the rest is all something you can learn along the way. Yeah, um, I would say that you really transitioned into the role of president really smoothly, given uh, the kind of politically charged environment we're living in. But yeah, um, that was definitely, uh, that was definitely really insightful. Uh, last but not least, any message to people who voted for you or the Western community in general? I think I want to say thank you. Um, <laughs> no, like I, and this is what I said in my first Gazette, you know, interview was that I love this community. It has given me a sense of pride in my identity. It's helped me figure out where I want to go in life. I joke all the time about, you know, the fact that I'm tri-sci fusion because I started off in mm -hmm. science, ended up in health sci, found my way into social sci. Um, but Western's really made me the person I am. And I, wanted this opportunity to to give back um and and to advocate for for students um and i'm so honored at this opportunity i don't take it lightly um and so i just want to say thank you to you know everyone who supported me along the way but also to everyone who voted i think participating in student democracy having your voice heard is so so important um and whether or not you voted for me i'm so excited to represent you i'm excited to earn in your trust. I'm excited to fight for you. Um, one thing I really want to make sure students know is that if you ever want to chat, whether you feel it's something um, that the USC president should be dealing with, or if it's something, just a general question you have, that's what I'm here for. That's what I was elected to do. So reach out. Um, I feel like you can just tag my Instagram or the Western <laughs> USC Instagram and people can just shoot a DM. Um, but I, I really want students to know that I am here to listen. I'm here to chat. I'm here to answer your questions. I'm here to support you. Whatever it is, I'm your man. All right, Samir, thank you so much for joining us again. Congratulations on the big win. And Thanks. Western, if you're really excited, if you're really passionate, as Samir mentioned, about student governance, if you're passionate about letting your voice being heard, go ahead, check out the Western USC website, follow them on Instagram, Facebook. There are some amazing, amazing opportunities out for you guys. So go ahead, apply. Even if you don't get it, just apply for the experience. So I guess thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it.